all right so we're back with another small tutorial uh this one is going to be about pet add-ons or how to create a pedestrian as an add-on rather than a replacement um it's pretty straightforward it's not too hard um there's two different files there is a what is defined as a stream pet and then there is what is just defined as a non-stream pet uh, people seem to be using stream pets more and more and it recently got fixed in 5m meaning that now you can actually use it which wasn't the case before so i've gone on the gj5 mods and i found myself two models that i want to use for this tutorial uh, obviously this works with everything unless the model is broken uh, which was the case when i tried to do take the first take on this so first of all uh i just went and found a batman model it's either that or like some weird anime character so i'm just gonna stick with batman for this one so i'm gonna download that one um for the second one i'm gonna download this claude that uh, dr mike has made and i'm also gonna download the john marston I'll let these download. There we go. All right. So now we have the three files down here. I'm just going to open all three of these. Uh, I'm just going to close the various things I have. Open. All right. So. Uh, there we go. So we have the three zip files here or RAR files. And as you can see, so if we go to the Batman one, and then we if we go into that folder, you can see that the Batman one has four files. This is because the Batman model is, is, is a non not streamed or non-streamed pet model, meaning that everything when it comes to textures and uh model model files is is in one. So we have the four files, and that's that's about it. These are the most common. This is probably what you want to be. That's probably one you're going to run into mostly. I'm not going to limit it to that, but so this is a non not stream pet. If we go to the Claude or if we go to the John Marston one, you can see that we have the YFT and the YMT file, but in the folder, we have a lot of different files. So basically for the non stream model, all of these files you have here are combined into one. So all of the YDD files are basically combined in this one YDD. Uh, it's the same with the Marston one. You can see that they're all split up. So these two here are stream pets. Uh, and what defines a stream pet is really just a, a singular flag and the way you set up the, the files themselves for streaming in 5M. So let's just get to it. Um, so in my 5M server i have created a resource called pets where i have a pet sub meta i have a fx manifest and i have a stream folder so in the pets uh fx manifest i have set it up like this so you have the fx version like always the games like always in the included files i have pets meta because this one is obviously needed and then i have in the data file i have pet meta files meta pets but meta so i'll leave this in the description so you can just kind of copy paste it in the pedestal meta we have nothing right now other than these uh what is that like six lines so it's currently empty but this is where we will be filling out the meta information for these these models in the stream folder i have nothing so we're gonna start by adding a new one let's call it uh batman because that's gonna be the first model we're gonna be adding and then we're going to find our Batman model, which is the AMY runner. So usually when you find these models, these are replacement models, meaning that this model is going to replace the AMY runner 01 model. So what you want to do is you want to copy this name and then you want to open either open IV or code Walker. When it comes to these meta files, I suggest using the code Walker RPF uh, viewer or Explorer. uh because it has more support for most of these files so in the search box 
again, you can still use an open use open IV. They basically do the same thing. So in, in open IV or in code walker, you want to just search for AMI runner. Oh, my bad. You don't want to search for AMI runner. You want to search for pets.ymt. And then it's usually the top file you want to open. There is a small chance that if you cannot find it in here, in this pets.ymt, it might be in one of these or it might be in pets. Uh, meta instead. So there is a few files to look through, but you can usually find them in either of those files. So in this case, it's probably going to be pets.ymt. And then in the list, we're going to hit control F to search. And then we're going to search for AMY runner 01. It's going to take us to line 29,987. So we're just going to copy from item to end of item. So control C, copy that, and then go into our pets.meta. Gonna do a line break below the pet item here, and then just control V to add that. So at the top here, you can see it's called AMY runner and AMY runner 01 underscore P. So that's the prop and that's the name of the model. All right, uh, so these are the names of the model and this is the names of the prop. The prop is most likely not gonna be used for anything. So usually you can just kind of remove this part and, and type null. For the name itself, this is where we make it into a, an add-on rather than a replacement. So if we go back to our files, we're gonna rename all of these files here to Batman, like so. And then in our pets.meta, we're gonna rename this name to the same, so to Batman. So sometimes, and I don't know if I've seen it on GTA 5 mods ever, uh, if there is a prop uh, model with that character, it's usually defined with an underscore P, meaning that in this case, it would be Batman underscore P. And then there should be a file out here also called Batman underscore P. But in this case, there's not. So we're just going to call it null and then leave it at that. So Batman should be working. So we're going to go back now and then we're going to go into our uh, John Marston here, which we are going to just create a new folder, call it uh, Marston. And then we're going to take the two YMT and the YFT files, drop it in here first, and then we take the rest and prop put it in here with that. So for the John Marston file, we basically want to do the same thing. So if I can find the, uh, the YMT file again, there we go. So MPM Marston 01, just copy that name. And then in here, in the pets.ymt, we're just gonna control F and search for Marston. So again, we have our item, and then we're gonna scroll down to the end of the item. Go back into our uh, pet item. Just gonna do a line break, and then paste that in here. So the difference between these two um, meta files is if we go and search for uh, if it's a stream so you can see is stream gfx values false this is for non-stream pets like I said it's for pets that are combined into one file whereas the John Marston one is split up into multiple files and is now defined as a stream gfx true so that is literally the only difference between those two uh, so the, the principle is the same. So uh, if we check our files here, this looks looks fine. So we're gonna rename our uh, our model here to just Marston, like so. So we're gonna copy the the name here real quick. So we go back to our YFT file and our YMT file. 
and we renamed this to Marston, like so. And the same for the YMT file, like so. So what you also want to do for the rest of these files is that you want to add a prefix in front of the file name that is matching the name that you gave this pet. So in this case, it's going to be Marston. And then you want to add uh, like this op arrow. I don't remember the name of it in front of it. It's basically the same as when you do replacement for clothing. You do it the same way. So this is just being added in front. You can do this manually. Uh, in this case, I am going to use a rename utility just to make it easier to do all the files at once. So if we select everything, I just want to make sure we don't have this, these three files that are already renamed. And then down here in number seven, under prefix, we're just going to do Marston. And then with this. So you can see everything is going to get renamed to Marston and when, with the file name at the end. So rename and done. So there we go. Now we have the YF YFT and the YMT, and then we have all these files underneath. So I'm going to go back. We're going to create a new one. Call this one. That what is his name was? Cloud. Uh, Cloud. Cloud. Not Cloud. Cloud. There we go. So Cloud is based on player Cloud. Okay. Let's see if that is true. We'll put this in the, the folder as well. Find the rest of the files here. Drop those in there. There we go. And then we go back and we find player underscore Claude. Let's see if we can find him in here. We cannot. Okay, so this guy is probably based on something else. So I'm just going to open back, open up the the file again. And then hopefully in the readme, this guy has defined what this uh, pet is based on. So you can see that he added... Do, 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 do. So it's based on MP Claude or MPSM Armored. Armored. So if we find MPM Claude 01, go back to our file here, and then we we have it there. So I'm just gonna copy this and do the same thing basically. Most of these these files, I would say are probably fine to do as a replacement because they're not world spawns but it's always better to not replace just have it as an add-on in my opinion we're just going to add this to the end and we're just going to remove these parts since we just want this model to be called Claude again props name is Noddle uh, and is stream GFX is true so we're just going to save this uh, then we're going to go back to our file here. Then we're going to rename player to just Claude. And YMT. So we have these two. And then we're going to do like before. We're going to rename all the files. Control A and then just deselect these two. And then the prefix is going to be Claude. Like so. Rename. And okay. There we go. So all we have to do now is add this to our resource or add this resource to our uh, config. Make sure this starts on the server. I have already done so in my server config file. As you can see it's called start pets, which is my resource in tutorials here. And let's try. Hopefully, none of these files are broken. Um, if the files are broken, meaning that they cannot be used, you will basically just crash the desktop most of the time. And if that is the case, either you need to fix the files manually, good luck with that, or just remove them. Alright, so game capture wants to work, there we go.
All right. So in the menu, which is the one I'm, I'm using now, player related, player appearance, spawn pet names, add on or spawn by name. And then we're going to do Marston first. And there we go. This is now our Marston uh, model that works like it's supposed to. If we go to our uh, pet customization, you can see the file has a lot of entries that are not being used. That's because the YMT files are usually not updated for these. But other than that, it looks all right. So you can see there's a few hats. Uh, I guess this is his hair. Some different tops. So basically this, this works as intended and it looks pretty good. If we go back and then we try the uh, pet and then do Claude. There we go. Claude also works. So Claude and Marston both works. And now here comes the, the big question if Batman works. And he does. There we go. So all three files work like they should. And it's pretty straightforward, like I said. Don't replace things. Like, <laughs> replacing Batman, Batman will, would replace a runner model, which is, I believe is like very high high spawn rate down on the beach, meaning you would have Batman running around. Uh, it's also, if you make any sort of changes to a YMT file, let's say that you are modifying a pet model that has suddenly a hat, extra hat, or another piece of clothing, if these new modified pets spawn in the world, whoever is in the area when they spawn will just crash. That is also a reason why you want to do add-ons rather than replacements. So keep that in mind. Uh, that if you ever spawn or crash for whatever reason after you've added some, some pet models at some point, it's because they cannot spawn in the world. So, there we go. That's pretty straightforward. Uh, say, uh, I'd say it's one of the easier tutorials. I still managed to make it a 20 minute tutorial, but hey, I hope this uh, helps you and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye.